all right so welcome back while you were gone i changed the font of this button to montserrat so just do that and let's get started on the con the user context how we're going to store the user data because here's how it goes if you're logged in we don't want to show the screen we want to show the home screen of the website so let's get that started up so let's create um a, a user context we're going to want to import create context from react and we're going to want to create a context with an initial value of an object that has the log term property with the value of false. And I'll explain how this all works when I finish it up. So let's do this real quick. We want to create a context. It's going to be a component. And the component receives the props and the props has the children property which is any child of this component will be part of the children so we want to return the user context top provider and pass it in a value which we're going to keep in our state With, and the state's going to have a default value of an object with the logged in state property to false. Unexpected labeled statement. Oh, we want to return this object. All right, cool. So how this works is basically we created a context and a component. And this is pretty much what the component returns. This is pretty much the juice of it. So the user context has a provider and you set that as a component. And you give it a va pass it in a value prop and we're going to pass it in the user. So when you pass it in that value it's going to be accessible to any child of this component. And we're basically creating a render prop here. And if you didn't know, all the children of a component can be accessed with the ch ch children property that are passed through the props of the parent, com parent component. So let's export this context and let's wrap our application in it. So now, any component that's a child of this has access to the user, which we passed in in the value. And later on in this series, like not too later, but next episode, we're gonna get the get the user from the API. We're gonna set up the server. Maybe next episode, maybe the one after, but we're gonna get that done. Don't worry about that. So we set up our, our user context in in case you don't know a context is basically like instead of passing on props to a bunch of components and then the children of that one and the children of that one you can just wrap your app in a context or whatever parent and all children component inside of that parent have access to the value of the context so you don't got to pass it down as props or nothing you just use a hook to access that and honestly people to do such a simple thing people use react i mean not react people use redux to do this but 
if it's something as simple as this, we don't gotta bloat our project by adding Redux. You know, I'm not saying Redux is bad, but it's not necessary all the time. So cool, we got this set up. Now, the thing is, we want to render this if we're logged in if we're not logged in and render something else if we're not so that means our app has to be racked in the context so actually let's stick this in the index that's better because we want to access the user the user object from here how do you do that well we go like this const and we're only passing an object so we can get access to it like that equals use context and I hate it when that autocomplete comes up and then the value that goes in here is the context that we created this one the one that we created and it has our value attached to it so we want this one So we go in here and we go user dot log and question mark is like is the user defined if it's the users not undefined or no and then we access the logged in property if it is true we render logged in if it's not we render this and basically I'm using a ternary operator for this all right so we're not logged in right but let's say we are logged in. So let's test it out. Logged in. So you see. Pretty sure you don't doesn't need an initial value in the create context, but yeah it doesn't because we're giving it one here this would be like if you don't put anything in the value it's this would be like a default but we are putting something here so this by default will be false and that's gonna be what's what happens all right well this was a short one pretty simple we're just going over context how the context api works you know you'll get the hang of it once you really like use it next episode we're going to start working on the server we're going to get that working up and we're going to get the database working express setup passport js setup it might take one or two episodes we'll see how it goes all right thanks for watching have a good one